Merriam Kansas Movie Theater welcomes guests for the first time in months. Merriam Cinemark 20 on Antioch is back open after the coronavirus pandemic shut it down. KBC 9's Brian Johnson looks at how the theater is taking precautions tonight to keep moviegoers safe. Yeah, there are 10 films that they're showing, classics like Raiders of the Lost Ark, as well as newer films like the most recent Jumanji. Tickets are $5, $3 for children. But get this, a lot of people are actually renting out the whole theater. For $100, you can bring up to 20 people with you, and that's been very popular tonight. Now, the theater's doing all kinds of things to keep people safe from COVID-19. They are taking lots of precautions. Masks are required for everyone. Guests are able to take those off, though, once they make it to their seat or for eating and drinking. Employees keep them on all the time. Now, they're cleaning surfaces every 30 minutes. They disinfect occupied seats after each movie. And the seating is automatically social distance when you get your ticket with two seats on each side of any group. The theater is also staggering show times, so fewer people congregate before and after films. Oh, my gosh, we're, we're out of the house. This is amazing. It's only been walking the dog, grocery store, and that's kind of it. But we know we have to um, do what's right and keep our hands clean and make sure we social distance and of course the mask. So this is kind of a way to have fun, enjoy ourselves, but still be safe. And Cinemark is encouraging people to buy their tickets online ahead of time to limit contact with people. They also have installed plexiglass between their workers and guests to keep that distance and that separation. Live in Miriam, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. And next week, Leewood-based AMC Theaters plans to reopen five local theaters. The Ward Parkway and Barry Woods locations in Kansas City, Missouri will open Thursday, along with theaters in Independence, Leewood, and Olathe. For one day only, all tickets to classic films will be 15 cents each. We're tracking the coronavirus in the Kansas City Metro. 250 new cases in our nine-county area tonight. This is a seven-day moving average of positive cases provided by the COVID Tracking Project. It's one of the best ways to track the spread of the virus. Kansas is up to 12.2%. Missouri is up to a bit above 10.7%. The national average is at 7%. Officials in Kansas City, Missouri will evaluate whether to reimpose some restrictions in restaurants and bars. Health officials believe the spike in COVID-19 cases may be partly due to crowds of young adults without masks. This is recent video from the Power and Light District. Outdoor venues there do not have a mask requirement. Kansas City bars are also at a 50% seating limit. There are are no limits on restaurants. Restaurants have kind of reported business has been gradually coming back. So, uh, you know, we, we don't want to see any rollback to what we had before. That would be devastating. The mask requirement and emergency orders have been extended until January 16th, 2021. Commitment 2020 News. The U.S. Postal Service is removing hundreds of high volume mail processing machines all across the country ahead of the November election. Four have already been removed from facilities in Kansas City. The machines can do the work of up to 30 postal employees. The president of a postal workers union says that it expects services to pick up in the fall because of mail in voting. Union leaders say that there will be less capacity to process mail and are concerned about potential delays for mail in ballots. 